Good morning. Day four, about seven o'clock now. Tired after uh, the water game yesterday, and again we'll have to take a cruise and travel to Neil Island. It's another one and a half hour journey from here, and then from there tomorrow we're getting back to Port, uh, Port Blair. Let's see what's there for the day today. See you guys. I'm too tired. Port. And uh, we'll take you, we'll be taking the Sea Link uh, cruise and heading to Neil Island. And look at that beach here. It's so clean. Our first destination in Neil Island is to check out the Havra Bridge and we are already here. What you can see right in front of you used to be a sand beach some time back. Uh, but because of uh, tsunami the entire uh, seabed has come onto the main line and uh, that's why you see all the rocky formation across. But otherwise this wasn't the case earlier. This used to be sand across all this place. It's tricky how you have to walk on this surface because it's uneven surface and then it's a little um, damp as well so you slip so you have to be a little careful while you walk and uh, that's the famous uh, Havra bridge that you can see in Neil Island and uh, look at the surface there's algae and it is slightly slippery a shoe with a good grip will definitely be handy here
evenings at Neil Island is just magical. The island just completely takes a makeover and you can see this vibrant color of nature and it perfectly marries with the ocean. You can just sit down by the ocean, enjoy the magical evening and uh, just call it a day as you are done. Day 4 and uh, we are in Neil Island. So today uh, we would uh, get back to Port Blair and then spend a day tomorrow there at Port Blair. So not a day actually. So we have our uh, cruise today at about uh, 4 o'clock reach Port Blair at uh, 5.30 and then um, just relax and tomorrow morning we have to visit the jail and uh, then just finish whatever is then around and tomorrow we are flying off.
done with snorkeling, it has been a fantastic experience. Uh, father and son, both of them also have tried it. Guys, right, must try. It is a must try thing. So we tried um, scuba in uh, North Bay and uh, snorkeling in uh, Neil Island. It's your choice, whatever you want to do. But then um, I would like to suggest try different islands so that you get different perspective of what the ocean looks like. Uh, when we did the scuba dive in uh, North Bay, it was more colorful and uh, in a different terrain. When we did the stalking here, we got to see a lot of fishes up close and personal. And yes, we did have a lot of fun. Yes, guys. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye. A couple of things you need to, need to, need to consider or keep in mind when you are around this place of country or in the island from moving from mainland to island. So point number one is uh, your rooms would be quite affordable. Uh, you have super expensive rooms at the same time you have decent rooms as well. What really will take a pinch on your pocket is the food here. Food is super expensive and uh, you don't have too much of an option uh, when it comes to food and especially when you are around the beach area or any um, tourist spot make sure you ask the price of the product or goodie or anything that you want to eat make sure you ask the price before you go ahead and buy it or anything because a lot of time what you end up is paying more because we didn't realize we just bought a mango and then we end up paying a hundred and fifty rupees just for one mango so that's why you have to be very very careful when you go out in any tourist spot and making sure you buy anything that's something you need to really be careful of. Number two, there are chances you can bargain. Um, uh, they say X price for one particular water sport. At the same time, if you bargain and you are in a big number, there is chance that you can bargain and get a better rate. So make sure you bargain. Uh, if you plan to do scuba, make sure you do scuba at uh, Port Blair, which is North Bay uh, Island. And uh, they say that is one of the best. We've done the scuba there at the same time people if you come in uh, Neil Island or you go to Havelock they say this is the best coral reef uh, that you can ever see but then I personally felt I loved uh, the snorke uh, the scuba dive at uh, Port Blair or North Bay in Port Blair and uh, what I did was I did snorkeling at uh, Neil Island uh, in Havelock uh, most of these uh, water sports were uh, shut down there was some uh, mishap which happened so that's why they had shut it down so not sure what the scene out there but then you have to have to come and experience the uh, water sports in this part of the country or this island it is simply amazing and one more thing a restaurant here closed by 9 30 pm so if you want to have food in the night you have to have to go and have the food by 9 30 pm 9 o'clock is the last order, so that's one downside of it, there's not much nightlife here. Um, so if you're thinking that there's going to be a lot of nightlife and come here, then that's a disappointment. You don't have too much of a nightlife, it's 9.30, shut shop, you're done. So nothing else after that. And if you want to know which is the best time to travel uh, to Andaman, that would be December and January. Uh, what uh, we've done is we've come in an off season which is uh, May. Normally May it rains here, that's what the localized said. So if you ever plan to come at, come to Andaman, uh, you plan it accordingly. You can come around December or Jan, that'll be the best time to come here and uh, enjoy the water sport and enjoy the view and nature here. It's crazy, it's brilliant, especially the sunsets are really, really nice here. Another very important thing that you need to consider, very very important thing, wherever you go, if it's a place you need to visit, take a guide, please please take a guide because uh, there are certain things these guides would tell and explain you which you otherwise would not enjoy or cherish um, uh, that particular moment because if you want to really know what that place is and you want to really make best out of your travel you need to take a guide he would tell you a lot of things which you otherwise would ever you guys would never know so make sure you take a guide and they charge 500 bucks and you know depending upon where you are there and all of it so it's better to take a 
it's better to take a guide and you know visit and uh, know more about these places. Overall, it's a fun place to come, have some good time, and uh, yes, enjoy. If you are a nature lover, you could really enjoy this place and you know have fun. So that's nice. And if you're new to this channel, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Also hit the bell icon. And guys, give it a thumbs up if you like this video and share this with your friends. Until the next time, I'm gonna say ciao, bye bye.